Hey everyone, it's Jade from Boho Bookworm. I thought I'd do a get ready with me video today because, well, I've never done one before. It sounded like fun and I'm bored shitless in lockdown. Tomorrow it's also going to be my um, cosy reading morning TBR which is hosted by Lauren from Lauren and the Books. The cosy reading morning is tomorrow from 7 until 10 UK time. Basically I just want to get ready because it's almost 12 o'clock. I look like a slob. I hardly ever wear makeup anymore or get out of my pyjamas so I just feel like I need to do something to feel a bit better about myself so I've actually got really dry sensitive skin so what I do first in the morning is I take these cleansing wipes which I got from Sainsbury's they're for sensitive skin just to get any excess makeup or whatever off then I wash my face clean with uh, just water and then I put on this Cetaphil moisturising cream for my face, which is for uh, dry, sensitive skin, for long-lasting hydration, fragrance-free, and I absolutely love this stuff. I do have a condition called psoriasis, and unfortunately I do have a little bit of a breakout with it now. You get like little spots like that. And I think it's from the stress of everything that's been going on lately, like through these little spots there and there. I don't know if you can see and I've got a couple on my body but so I've got to be very careful with the kind of cream that I put on my skin so this one I find really helpful if you've got psoriasis the other reason I'm deciding to get ready today is because I am actually leaving the house for the first time in a while <laughs> my normal uh, cream for my body after I shower is finished sadly it's my favorite cream but it's all gone so I need to go to Sainsbury's and get some new body cream so I need to get ready and not look like an absolute slob. Maybe drag a brush through my hair. Fam. Right, let's get ready. So I'm not really all like typical girly girl. I don't have much makeup in my life at all. So, and I, you know, I don't do things like concealer and stuff like that. My, my makeup routine is very basic considering I am a, actually a makeup artist, although I haven't done makeup art for a long time. So what I use for my foundation is Estee Lador. I absolutely love it and it has never affected me with my sensitive skin. And this is the Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup and it's got a sun factor of 10. I use the 3C3 Sandbar. I don't know if that's gonna focus properly, but there you go. And I apply that to my face with a beauty blender. This is how I have to film because I don't have a tripod. <laughs> Great angle. So, for cosy reading morning, I'm going to get up at about half past six tomorrow morning and I'm going to make a cup of coffee. First and foremost, the important stuff. Wrap myself up in my dressing gown cosy up either in bed or on the sofa depending on what the rest of the household is doing and I'm going to crack open my copy of Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin I'm like over halfway through it now and it's a beast of a book it's really thick but I really want to rewatch the tv show so the sooner I can get through the book the better Then I take my bronzer, which I got from the body shop, uh, which actually it's really running low and I need more. And I put that on my face. <laughs> so I'll probably read a couple of chapters of The Game of Thrones. I mean, the, I think it's about, it's only a few hours, the, read the readathon. So I'll do a few chapters of The Game of Thrones make a cup of tea after the after my coffee and then I will most likely go on to read this um, comic book called Fables which is kind of like a fairy tale retelling and it's got all your old favourite fairy, ta fairy tale characters in it like you know Snow White and Jack and the Beanstalk and stuff like that okay then I get my Inglot Illuminator out and I put that on my eyes just to make my eyes pop a little bit I like putting it just under my eyebrow. Probably the worst makeup artist in the world, really. It's 
you like and you just rub it in to shimmer around your eye like that which I really like to do and then I've got quite a number of audiobooks that I need to get to so there is a new BA Paris book out um, on Audible called The Dilemma so I think I might give that one a go right now you might find this a little bit odd but what I do next to make my eyebrows look a little bit more sculpted is colour my eyebrow in a little bit um, so The Dilemma by BA Paris is if you can see how that's kind of just sculpts it a little bit the dilemma is about this woman who's turning 40 and she's really excited it's going to be her birthday party she's been planning it for ages the only person that won't be attending is her daughter so this woman's husband is called adam and he doesn't really know why the daughter's not attending and why this main character whose birthday it is why she's happy that her daughter is not attending the birthday so she's got this big secret that she's waiting to reveal after the party finishes all right so then i've got my inglot eyeshadow palette so when i bought this i got all my favorite colors which are all the earthy tones and then you had to choose another one and there weren't any other ones that i liked so i got this green that i've actually never used so what i do normally is i take that one and I put that one as the base and then that one and then that one around the creases of my eyes so Adam is thinking that this party is going to go down really well everything's going to be perfect but then he learns obviously something that's happened or something about his wife and he's then faced with this unbearable decision so i mean there's not i don't know much about it it's classed as more of a mystery book i think than a thriller i love ba paris's books so i do have high hopes but i must say i have heard that it might not be very good so i'm not sure hopefully it won't be terrible because like i said he or she i don't actually know is one of my favorite authors should probably find out their gender. Let's have a look. Alright, yep, so I'm on the Goodreads page. It's a woman. Sorry, BA. I only found out yesterday that JK Rowling's real name is uh, Joan Kathleen Rowling. It's hard when people abbreviate their names unless you do your research into it, really. So yeah, BA Paris is a English, British author, but she spent most of her life in France. Okay, this is probably my favourite beauty product that I own at this point. This is the Maybelline New York Lass Sensational Luscious Full Fan Effect, and it makes my eyelashes look so much bigger than they are. I love it so much, and I'll be very sad when it runs out if I can't find it again. I mean, look at that difference already. It's amazing. So my favourite B.A. Paris book would have to be Behind Closed Doors. It's the first one by her that I read and I absolutely loved it. Could not put it down. One of the best thrillers I've possibly ever read. And if Erica's watching this, I have heard you and I will be doing a thriller book recommendation video soon, I promise. Thank you for your suggestion for future video ideas for my little boho bookworm channel which is often so neglected but i am really trying to pick it up again right now look at that it's amazing mm -hmm. i am such a twat be up my nostril i don't know how people do these videos honestly like i can't do them Oh, I can't even hold the bloody thing, I need a tripod. <laughs> so, if I'm going to be honest, I don't think that uh, the dilemma is going to be fantastic. It doesn't sound like a very strong premise. 
but let's wait and see. I'll definitely start it tomorrow during the Cozy Readathon hosted by Lauren. I'll link her channel down below in case you somehow don't know her and know me, which would be bizarre because she's way bigger and better than me. Beautiful. So for my lips, they've been really dry and cracked lately, possibly because of the uh, amount of wine intake and junk food I've been having during lockdown. But I've I got this from a uh, a drugstore in in Spain, so it's in Spanish. But it's been really nice. It's got aloe vera and vitamin E in it, and yeah, just really really liking this. I'll be sad when it finishes if I can't find it again. And then I slick on this lovely lipstick, which is a L'Oreal Paris. And it is number, I don't know if the dog chewed it, but well, that's a bit shit, isn't it? Doggy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a really nice colour. I love this colour. You can already see how much I've used that. I'm just left. Oh, it's almost finished. <laughs> so sad. Right, so this is this colour. It's like a plum kind of colour, I think, but I really like it. Et voila. The face is finished. Alright, so now I've got to choose some clothes and get out of these baggy pyjamas that I've been living in lately. Just saying though that tomorrow you will probably see me like I was earlier with no makeup, in a dressing gown. Yeah, because let's face it, that's life right now, isn't it? But it does feel good to dress up again. I think it makes us all feel a bit more productive. Let me zoom in now that it's better lighting on how I do my eye makeup. Probably not perfect, but here we go. If I'd like a proper filming setup and better lighting and a tripod, I could probably do these videos way better. I left like I think I had like three or four tripods back in South Africa and that's where they still are and now I'm in England. Fail. So I actually really don't have many shirts here or clothes in general but I have recently become vegan so I got all these vegan shirts. Maybe I think I'm gonna I'll go for this one today. Naz I can wait. Now what to do about this? I need to wash it actually. It's in dire need of wash. That would actually be a pretty cool hairstyle. If I like shaved one side, have this off a bit longer. Dude, I've just figured out my next hairstyle when hairdressers come back out. That looks pretty sick. What do you think? Cool. I actually really like it. Huh. Quarantine is really getting to me. Fuck. I'm gonna go now. I'll vlog tomorrow with my uh, cosy reading morning. So I'll see you then. Looking shitter than this. <laughs>